Okay, <clears throat> hey guys, so in the last stream, I think what I was doing is I just figured out the main uh, proof of concept to get uh, the blur hash from the images. Uh, the images that are that we get from the video thumbnails. Uh, but now the feature has been complete. So if you can see over here, this is an uh, video and just before we just saw it's a blur hash uh, generated. So that is the whole functioning of uh, this. So I'm just going to give you a quick uh, walk through on how I did this. So where's my code base? Yep, here it is. Let me just make this big. Okay, so in the last, uh, video we just saw uh, the core POC so if I go to my index dashboard so on drop so what I'm doing is when I drop the file any file so this uh, function gets called and then over here I just check if the file type is of type video and then I basically get the base 64 thumbnail from this function so what it what so this is what we covered in the last video so before it was in index.js now i just moved it to help us so it, it basically just gets the uh base 64 of the first frame uh, of the video so this function does does that and this base 64 is stored in this uh, thumbnail base 64 uh, variable and this if it is not a video if it's just an image then it's going to be null so this I'm going to I'm sending it to my API uh, APS body so then once I send this over here when the API is called I get this over here I get uh, it in data.fields I get this in data.fields because the API has base 64 and because of this i am sending uh, it as a multi-part form data so that we can send huge uh, base 64 strings um, so it's of type form data uh, and then this base 64 so so this is what i covered in the last video so we're just splitting so this base 64 contains two elements first element is the type of the image which is png the second element is the base64 string. So this is separated by the base64 text over here. So we are splitting that full base64 string. Uh, and then we're getting the first element, which points out to the base64 string itself. So what I'm doing is if the type is a video, then I get the base64 string, I decode this and I upload into my super base storage. And the video storage path, so where I want it to upload is, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm uploading it to the same folder where all the, where the video is present, but I'm just going to append the thumbnail text before the file name. So the, the video itself will have a file name, but the thumbnail of this video will have this thumbnail text over here. And then, of course, we have error handling. And then what we do is we get the uh, public URL of the uh, uploaded uh, thing. So this, so once it's uploaded, we don't get its URL, CDN URL. I need to run this extra secondary super base uh, function to get the CDN URL. So uh, we get the public URL for the uploaded thumbnail over here. And then I take this public URL, have it as my OG image. And then I uh, generate the blur hash for this thumbnail URL uh, that is the CDN one, which uh, we get from here. And then we store the blur hash data and metadata, and then I insert it in, into my DB. So uh, that is it. So, so now because of this, the inline player will not be there. So you get the blur hash video. So what I need to do is similar to this i just need to add a play icon of sorts over here and then when user double clicks it opens a new tab 
from which the video gets played. So that is how it is there for now. So I just need to add a video play icon over here so that people can click and play. Yep, so that's how we did uh, generating video thumbnails uh, uh, from and also having a blur hash for that. So, yep, I uh, think.